Hi Heidi, welcome to this week's vlog. I'm going to do another narrative style vlog. I know you are planning to do something a little bit different with your week's vlog, but I'm just going to sit down, do a little story time, and let's get through this week. Let's start with Monday. So Monday was still, it was the end of my, my weekend, so I didn't really do anything during the afternoon. I kind of slept in, I hung out, I read, I kept watching a movie that I'm supposed to watch and I still haven't finished yet, but at night I had a guest lecture. So I'm going to show you a clip right after I finish this, and I basically say that it is like 5.30 and I'm going to a guest lecture because a guest architect is coming to our school to deliver a little presentation. Although someone was out in the kitchen and the walls are really thin here. So if I talk normal, you can hear it out there. So I was whispering really quiet. You can't really hear me. I'm hopefully going to put the words over top, but let's get to that. That's the exhibition area, which can be closed only by this sliding door. Hello, I'm back home. It is now past eight o'clock. He talked for about an hour and a half, and then we had about half an hour of questions. So yeah, I know I was really quiet. I'm probably gonna voice over that part because someone was out in the kitchen, but we had a guest lecture by Helmut Dietrich. He is an Austrian architect and I've probably already shown you some of his work but it was really interesting. He focused on uh, wood buildings so he showed us a lot of his work and his firm's work based off wood buildings or just uh, timber buildings in specific so things that are wood on the outside on the inside with like CLT or with a wood concrete mix. He showed us a lot of examples and it was very informative especially because working with wood and timber you really have to work with the elements and a lot of his um, examples that he gave actually used wood and like trees from that local area which was really interesting and considering that one of our classes is focused on wood and like our whole uh, unit and like just years focused on landscape in specific it was very interesting to listen to and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So it is 8 o'clock. I have a few readings to do for school for tomorrow. I'm gonna finish watching a movie and then I'm gonna head to bed and I will see you tomorrow. Welcome to Tuesday. So today in the morning I had my climate change class. As you can see from me grabbing my book right here. So yes, the course is called climate change. That, that's what we talk about. We have an essay due in a few weeks. So we just got a few things. We got a worksheet that I actually finished. Yeah, it was a pretty calm class. It's a three hour lecture. So yeah, it's kind of long, but it's the first um, morning of the class. It's the first class of the morning. As you can tell, it's a little early for that. And now on to studio. Okay, so I'm back from class and now I have my studio class. This week, like I said, last week we're doing surveying. So today and for, today and Thursday, I'm gonna be going to a park to do some surveying, measuring. So I'm gonna take you along with me on my good camera and hopefully I can film some of that. If not, I'm gonna take quite a few pictures. So I will insert them here. So as I said, in studio, we are doing surveying. So we went to a local park and we were going through the path all the way from one end to the other. It's approximately two kilometers long and we were actually manually surveying it and then writing all the numbers down so we can get kind of like a grade going. That's what we did all Tuesday. We ended up only making it halfway through the park in three hours. So yeah, it took a long time. We finally got the group of it. What happened was, is we have a group of 16 and so half of us, eight of us, spent the first hour and a half um, just like going throughout the park. We got to walk it. We were encouraged to go off the trails and just really get a feel for the kind of vegetation, the kind of like animal life, all of that stuff. Well, the other half started surveying and at the hour and a half mark, we switched. So whoever was out exploring went back to start surveying and whoever was surveying went out to start exploring. So these are a few pictures and clips that I got exploring and then I'll throw in a few photos of us surveying.
We made it. And that's what happened on Tuesday. After this, I went back home, had a little supper, and then I went to my nighttime class, which is another three hour class. I know. Tuesdays are very long. I don't think I got any clips from that, but that is the class that I have to watch this movie in. We have to watch the movie up, the Disney movie. This movie right here, I'll put the poster, and then we have to write an essay on it. So yeah, that's what we did in my class. It ended early. He's really good for um, like going through the lecture pretty quick, so it's not from like 7 till 10, it's like, so, like 7 till 9.30ish, which is great, because then I get to leave welcome to wednesday today was a very long day normally if it was a regular wednesday which it will be next week i have a class in the morning that is my structures class which is focused on wood which is what the lecture was about on monday and then i have studio and then that's it it's only two three hour classes but we had a trip we were going canoeing so I filmed a little bit here and there, but I'm just going to kind of put these clips and pictures over top because I took a lot more pictures than I did video clips. One of our projects that we have yet to start is we're building canoes, canoes and paddles. So to kind of get us started in this project, we went to the French River, which is a river that connects two big lakes in Ontario, and we went to a museum, we had time to explore, and then we actually went canoeing. So this is when we went to the museum. It's actually um, an award-winning building. It has um, history about the beginning of the French River and how it was used with Canadians and like um, settlers and like the Aboriginal people. And then we kind of learned a little bit of a history of the birch bark canoe. So these are a few pictures of inside. I really love that antler, like the little, I don't know what it's called, the little animal with like little antlers. It's really cute. And then we went outside and right behind the museum, there was this big, like, it's not a suspension bridge, but it was like a big, like, uh, teal bridge. You'll see it. The teal one is for pedestrians. And then across a little bit down, there's one for all the traffic. And unfortunately, it was under construction, but you can see it. And it's really, really pretty. Enjoy those pictures because they, it was absolutely stunning. Hello and welcome to Wednesday. Today we are at the French River. Let's have a look. We're going canoeing afterwards. We just went to the museum, which is this way. I will take a few more clips of that. But yeah, I'm on a bridge right now. Welcome to it. There's Joanna. <laughs> and we will see you later. I'm on the bridge. And that bridge over there, um, that's the one for cars. So if you ever come on Highway 69, then that's when you're gonna cross. This is a pedestrian bridge. It's green, as you can see. There are people in my class back there. Yeah, I'm just walking over it. It's been really fun. Uh, so inside the museum, it has a lot of things based on canoeing and just the natives and the, the fur trade. If any of you didn't know, this is the French River. It is like the first historic river in Canada. It really supplied the fur trade from Canada to Europe back way before Canada was even a country, which is really cool. There's a lot of historic things here. And fun fact is we're actually gonna be building canoes um, later this year, and we're gonna be making our own paddles, so stay tuned for that. That's gonna happen though, like November, late October, late November. So yeah, so I'm just walking along, having a good time. And let's see what's on the other side. There's the bridge we were just on. I have climbed my way from over there. And that's where the museum is. Look at how pretty it is. Come on. So we spent a few hours there. Then we got back on the bus and we drove down the river a little bit to go canoeing. So. I've been canoeing once, I was like 11, and my dad did the whole thing. Like He was behind, like going, and I was sitting at the front, and the wind blew through my hair. I was not prepared to go canoeing. I was like, oh my gosh. So here are a few pictures from that. I'm gonna do a time lapse of, I took one video clip of us going, 
Anyways, on the way there, I sat in the front and my friend sat in the back because she's been canoeing before and she was going to steer. Oh man, we were awful at it. Uh, I guess I was oversteering or like I was paddling too much and like I wasn't doing the right like stroke and we literally went zoom, zoom. Like we just kept zigzagging and it ended up taking forever. We were one of the last people to get there to like a little mini island. It was so hard. Oh my gosh. But I was proud that I did it because first of all, we made it there. We were not the last people there. And I brought my good camera, which is an expensive camera in a canoe that I never really canoed on. And we did not tip. It didn't get wet, it stayed safe the whole time, and we made it. Me and one other person brought our cameras, but the other person, he had this big waterproof case to put his uh, camera in. I didn't. It was just around my neck, and then after a while, I just took it and I put it in the bottom of the boat. So I was very impressed with myself. So when we got up on the island, we had like a little history lesson, and then we walked to the other side where these big rapids were which is nice because we didn't have to canoe through them, but it was amazing. So we had a little history lesson, we got a look at it, and then we got two hours to explore. They let us swim in the rapids, and there was like little mini pools around it, and explore it, and take photos. So here are some clips from that. super beautiful. Let me show you around. We're now taking selfies. Well, yeah, we're now taking new uh, Facebook profile pictures and Instagram pictures. Smile. We're even closer now. Really risking this camera, taking it a canoe and right by the rapids. Like they're right there. Oh my gosh. Whoa. We have some photo taking going on. Oh, it's gorgeous here. And then it's all the way down there. Hey guys, I'm in the water. How's the cold water? Yeah? <laughs> She decided to sit in the water, guys. <laughs> Look at it. It's so cold. Oh, it's so fun. It's a lot of it's a long time. Oh. <laughs> and we have people over there I'm swimming. I'm like getting swept away. <laughs> you see them? <laughs> She's getting up, guys. She's getting up. <laughs> So I'm going to give you a little more context of where we are. So right here we're by the rapids and we ended up canoeing quite far away. We stopped on like a little dock and then we walked on like this island all the way over to this side. So this is the other side of the island by the rapids. At the end in like 15 minutes we're going to walk all the way back, get our canoes, paddle back to the bus and then go home to finish our day. Has it been fun? Yeah. Yeah, but it's been a lot of hard work. She had the good boat, I had the bad boat, but that's okay. We'll make it, we'll get back. As you can see, we had a lot of fun. Um, I personally didn't go swimming, although I did step in the water, as you can see, on the rocks. I did not slip, and my camera stayed safe. That was the whole point. I was like, my camera better not get ruined. Like, I better not ruin it. And everyone was like, I can't believe you're so trusting with it. Yes, Heidi, I did it for you. So after that, we walked back across the island, got back in the canoes. This time I sat in the back and my friend sat in the front because I had a feeling that I was over steering and like over paddling and it ended up working a lot better. We actually crashed into one boat, <laughs> which was really embarrassing. But after that, we were smooth sailing. We kept going straight. We did not zigzag as much and we made it in good time. We were like in the middle. We were not at the back. We definitely were not first because we were slow paddlers, but we were in the middle and it was great because uh, like every kind of 
few minutes I take my cam my camera out and I take a photo so it was cool so I actually got quite a few photos as you'll see right here on the screen it was amazing and when we made it back we were like land thank you oh my gosh I am so done it was so tiring the um, I don't want to over exaggerate but it felt like we canoed at least three kilometers each way I may be overestimating it. I don't have a map to actually see how far. It was definitely over two kilometers though. Like it was a far paddle and now it's one way. So you have to like multiply it by two because we have to come back. It was awful. Like my arms and my back was killing me. I tend to tense up when I paddle, like my shoulders and they were dying. So yeah, we hopped on the bus and came back. We didn't get back till about like seven o'clock we left at eight o'clock in the morning and didn't get back till seven so it was a full day of activity and yeah i really enjoyed it. a lot of my photos are already on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram go follow me and that was it i was so tired when i came home i took a shower and i went to bed so welcome to thursday thursday i got to sleep in because my i only have one class that day and it starts at 2 p.m which is nice i have studio so uh, for studio, we were back at the park because we had to finish that last half of surveying. As I said on Tuesday, we only surveyed half the park. We had to do the last half. And it was awesome because since on Tuesday, we had a great system going. So to survey one half of the park on Tuesday, it took three hours. To survey the last half of the park, it took one and a half. We cut down the time, but kept the same distance, which was great. It went so fast. Uh, and here are a few more clips of that. I got quite a few pictures. I got some really nice ones of surveying. Although, I don't know what I'm going to use them for other than this vlog. <laughs> so yeah, so after we did that, we went back and then we got assigned a few projects. So using that information, we had to um, like do a drawing of it and then we got a few more projects. They assigned a project that we'd have to do as homework before the next class. And everyone was kind of freaking out because they assigned like big, big drawings. Moving on to Friday, um, basically that day I spent working on this project. I went there at 8 a.m. and I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna take the whole weekend. I have so many other projects that are due. But it turns out I went there Friday morning. It only took like a few hours and half the project was already done. It was so easy because we had a map already. All you had to do was measure it, convert it into the scale that I wanted, and then pretty much like a scatter plot, just d make dots all along it, and then take those dots, take a line, and connect them all. Make it thick, and you're done. It was so easy because all they wanted was a big line. They did not want any trees. They didn't want you to draw soil. So it was pretty easy easy so that's what i spent on friday doing i did both of or all three of our drawings that we needed to and i went home and then yesterday which is saturday because today is sunday we had a worksheet like i said in climate change we actually got like homework like a worksheet to do that's due this tuesday and everyone forgot about it but i kept mine on my desk and when i opened it when i was doing the project on friday i was like hello guys has anyone finished this worksheet yet and then all of a sudden everyone was like oh my gosh no i haven't so yeah so we have like a 28 like 30 page reading that the worksheet was from it didn't take that long maybe an hour or two but that's what i spent on friday i also went grocery shopping because i really needed to do that and yeah saturday was definitely very chill it was kind of a catching up day hello welcome to saturday today is just a relaxing day I went to studio this morning to do finish up a little bit of work. We had a worksheet that's due on Tuesday to do with my friend, so that was awesome. I have one more project to do finish this, well, two more projects to finish this weekend, like an actual like building one, and then I have an essay to write. Right now, I don't know if you can see it, I'm making shepherd's pie, my favorite food to make when I'm here making the meat portion of it and I'm really excited. Heidi, are you jealous? I know you love shepherd's pie. Not. Oh, and before I go, I thought I'd tell you that recently I've been really getting into K-pop music. Their band is called BTS and the song is called Dope, if you were wondering. Anyway, so I looked them up and I, this week, have been obsessed 
with their music. I really like the song Dope and the song, what is it? Uh, um, I Need You. That's it. I almost had to look at my, my computer. I downloaded both of them and they sing in Korean half the time. Let's just be real. But the beat and like the music, it is amazing. Stuck in my head, Heidi, you need to listen to it. And for all you watching, like go on YouTube. You're already on YouTube. Go in the search bar, open another tab, go on YouTube again and listen to this music. It is so good. So those are my recommendations for the week. Definitely those two songs by BTS. And now welcome to Sunday. Today I slept in, I woke up, and then I had this great idea to do reaction videos. One of my favorites is called Ya Boy J. I will link him down below. He is hilarious and amazing and he always reacts to Pentatonix videos. I love Pentatonix. So I was like, I kind of want to do one of these things. And a few days ago, Pentatonix released a new music video. So that's what I did today. I reacted to Pentatonix's new video for Where Are You Now, which will be up tomorrow on Monday. I also am loving this new band, as you've seen from the clip from Saturday, called BTS. And so I picked four of their music videos, three of which I've never seen before, and I've reacted to them. And that video is going to be going up on Friday. And because I love them so much, I'm making Heidi react to the same four videos. She's never heard these people before. She doesn't know who they are. When I told her BTS, she was like behind the scenes. I was like, no, Heidi, you obviously haven't heard this band before. So she's going to be reacting to those and putting it up on Friday as well after my video goes live. So stay tuned for that. So stay tuned for Monday and Friday. And from now on, every Friday, or we're going to try every other Friday, we're going to be reacting to a new video. So if you have any suggestions of us to react to, comment them down below because I'm super excited. And that was my week in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed. Click a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Oh, and uh, alert, alert, alert. Um, this is my birthday week. My birthday is on Thursday this week, October 1st. I'm turning 19. I am so excited. Heidi's vlog goes up on Thursday, so stay tuned. I know she's going to be doing something super special for me. Yeah. So yeah, I can't wait for my birthday. It's really exciting. I'm actually legal age in Canada. The drinking age is 19 in Canada, so I'm not going to get drunk, people. Don't even go there. But yeah, I'm really excited and I will see you next Sunday. Actually, I will see you tomorrow with the Pentatonix video, Friday with the reaction video to BTS, and I will see you next Sunday. Yeah, you guys get ready for a lot of videos because we're kicking it up a notch. Bye!